Now think about the accompaniment there. What's going on in a fair amount of the Mozart concerti accompaniment-wise? Right. <laughs> what did you do rhythmically? Uh, I kind of mess around. You took a bit of time. So they'd have to play yup, bop, 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 bop. They won't have time to do it. You can take rubato, but within the big beat. Mm -hmm. And in Mozart, the rubato is very delicate, unless it's a major moment. So be laid on the tie. And remember, this is another part of that material. So indicate that from here forward, it's moving on to that. Yes, and what's the function of the B in the second measure there? What is that? What do we call that? Is that um, an appoggiatura? Exactly, an appoggiatura. So you'll have a bit of vibrato, a bit of a lean on it, and then you release. And what is that first C? Remember that C we talked about earlier? Mm -hmm. That's an anticipation. anticipation. So you have, as Mihai said, a little lift in between the two notes. Good, the lift doesn't have to even be that big. Just making sure they know there are two C's. That's it. And I thought that was terrific. And the length you had on your grace note was just right. The first time it was maybe a bit long, long. and this time it was a bit lighter. And you know, like in the old days, they probably would have, some might even play, you know, a, a version of that where it's a little tight to the beat, like you hear in, in they wouldn't play it actually mm -hmm. together. But like you hear in Beethoven first and second piano concerto, a little bit of uh, pepper as they would mm -hmm. say in that. Or you can look at it as the expressive character where they, they, those are written as grace notes because he didn't want two even sixteenths. And they can also be played long. So opinion, either way is right, and it really is about it being up to you. Mm -hmm. But I think what Mozart perhaps is indicating to us is that he didn't want, he was writing 16ths already in this passage, he didn't want it to be a strict 16th, yeah. and he's giving you a bit of freedom. Mm -hmm. So I think you figured that out. Let's go on and we'll deal with these wide intervals. repeated notes in the clarity of them. So these end up being even the sixteenths, but you have to deal with the sixteenths that are repeated notes. Some of them are approached by a slur and some by articulation. Let's make sure it sounds steady, but they're leading forward. Because where are you thinking of going in terms of the harmony? To a major section. To the A, right? So you're going to think So what's the first note of each one of those groups of 16th end up being? What's our word we like? It's an... Another... Pagiatura. But don't be confused. Those aren't the real structural notes, though they do get the lean. Mm 